Howdy ho, everybody. It's Saturday here at the shop. Uh, got everything more or less cleaned up out of the way. And uh, after testing the Gen 3 Heavy in the Lark, uh, moved some stuff around. Got some stuff stashed over there for now. Getting ready to work on the 2006 Chevrolet Silverado. Um, as I stated before, um, it's coming in. I'm pulling the motor out of it. It's got oil leaks all over the place. Um, not just one gasket, but multiple gaskets. So Ethan and I are going to go ahead and pull this thing out and regasket it. All new gaskets. Go ahead and put a new oil pump in it. And uh, timing chain. Um, check, make sure everything else is okay. Um, like I said in the previous video, it does run really well, but we'll just check other things as we got it out. And you might recognize it in a previous video. Um, the Chevrolet is also known as Splatter because of the wrap that's on it. I'll give a shout out to Brad and Amber. And uh, they were nice enough to give me a couple of signs to put in the garage. Yes, I know, used upgrade cars as a GM thing, but I also got that. So that was kind of cool of them. So now the fun begins. Uh, I'm gonna pop the hood on it. Got my engine hoist set up, ready to go. Got my little heater going. Looks like it stayed somewhat warm in here. We get started on the disassembly of this. We can see this thing's just leaking a wall all over the place. Valve covers, the O-ring for the spout. <coughs> Excuse me. The intake. I don't know if we can see it or not. Front seal. So yeah, this thing's just leaking everywhere. It's All down through the back, rear main seal. And like I said, she's basically almost changing her own oil, minus putting it back in. Well, we're in the middle of tearing this thing down. Man, this thing's nasty. It's got oil all over the place. But that's why she's coming out. But I'm hoping to get it out tonight. Uh, let's see how it goes. After working all day and getting on this. But Ethan is off to our parts store to get some gloves and some degreaser stuff because it is nasty underneath there. You can't see what's what. So after messing with it yesterday a little bit, he had more grease on his hands than on anything and just couldn't really see so He's off doing that, and I'm getting ready to pull the pull pads off, and then hopefully we'll be able to get this thing out tonight. If not, it'll definitely be tomorrow, but it's a lot of work. And I'll tell you what, wiring harness on a GM is not fun. The way you got this stuff routed over the motor, underneath the motor, across the motor, and I think they could have done a little better design on that. But... It is what it is, and I'm going to get back to work. All right, guys, after hitting this thing for the past two nights, we're now getting ready to pull this thing out. All right, we just got this bastard out. As you can see, it's been leaking all over the place. I 
We're gonna be doing some cleaning down there, get it outside, pressure wash it. But yeah, leaks all over the place. Well, Ethan. There's a reason why we're not a Chevy family. Well, that was fun. It kind of paused a little bit. It's actually our first LS motor that we pulled out. So I'm looking forward to getting into this thing. Uh, as far as the simplicity of getting it out, yeah, I'll take my Dodges. But other than that, we're going to sit there and start on first thing, giving this thing a degreasing bath. Degrease this thing. Get all the crap, scrape, everything else, and then we're going to start tearing this thing down. Took us a little bit longer. Uh, between us working during the day and trying to come home at night and kind of do this a couple hours at a time. So it's taking a few days. But it's out. Now we can get the truck pushed out to the driveway, get it all steamed out, and take this out, scrape it all down, degrease, oven cleaner, whatever it's going to take to get this shit off. But we're tired. It's late. And I think that's going to be it. But y'all have a good one, a safe one, and we'll see you down the road.